open up seven days, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or lunch and dinner, and they're not able to do that anymore. Restaurants, bars, grills have taken a huge hit since COVID nationwide, even here at home. We're seeing folks um, trying to figure out what to do with with what they have. Carol White, CEO of the New Mexico Restaurant Association, is asking lawmakers to step in at the 2023 legislative session. The federal government had given away, it was $2.8 billion to restaurants throughout the country, but it was on a first come first serve basis. Starting with a state version of the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. New Mexico, um, we had 1,500 applicants to that fund, only 600 of them got, got what they requested and 928 of them did not get what they requested. So, so what we're doing is asking the state to help those restaurants d that did not get that additional funding. White says restaurants are still struggling thanks to inflation. Restaurant wholesale food has gone up 15.8%. So, um, and then of course we have the labor shortages that we've experienced since the end of the pandemic and um, supply chain shortages. Mike Comforti, owner of the Library Bar and Grill in Albuquerque, says he can use the extra help. We incurred a lot of debt during COVID. Uh, so we're in the process of, you know, paying that all back. So to have the ability to get these loans would give us the opportunity to get so far out of debt that we actually could start, you know, moving forward like we were doing before COVID.